All right, so what we're going to show you is the, uh, the proper and the, the easiest way to turn on uh, your Bunsen burner. And so in order to do this, you're going to need a few things. So you're going to need uh, your Bunsen burner and the tube that connects it to the, to the gas outlet. And uh, these two things can be found in the cupboards uh, underneath your um, drawers. And you're also going to need the striker. And the striker can be found uh, actually in your drawer. So the, the first thing to know when uh, lighting your Bunsen burner is how to turn on and off the gas. And um, here's how to do that. All right, so the way this works is that if the handle of the gas is perpendicular to the spigot, it means that it's in the off position. So uh, both of these guys right here are in the uh, off position currently. Uh, in order to turn it on, what you do is you turn the handle until it's parallel to the spigot. So right now it's on. And to turn it off again, you make it uh, perpendicular to the spigot. So basically what we're saying here is that there's two ways to turn the gas off. You can either have it looking like this, or you can have it looking like this. Uh, both ways, they're, they're perpendicular to uh, the spigot. All right, so that's one thing yeah, you need to know is how to turn on or off the gas. Um, here's some more things you need to know. So before you actually light your Bunsen burner, it's probably a good idea to actually practice uh, just with the striker to see if you can't get any sparks to fly out of this thing. So even before you turn the gas uh, on, practice uh, manipulating the striker so that you can get some sparks to fly out of it. And so uh, typically what you have to do is uh, not, not only just rake this portion of the striker across the, the flint uh, to get the, the maximum amount of spark. Not, a, not only do you want to push across, but also push down. So push this thing down into the flint at the same time uh, that you rake across, and that'll give you a lot of spark. All right, so practice making uh, sparks with the striker first before you actually use the striker in order to light the Bunsen burner. And uh, so once you have that, once you're okay uh, with making a spark with the, uh, with the striker, um, now you can light the Bunsen burner. And so in order to light the Bunsen burner, it turns out that you don't need to turn the gas on all the way in order to get a flame. Uh, it's probably not a good idea anyway, because if it's on full blast when you light it, it's going to be a big flame and uh, you might end up scaring yourself or hurting yourself. So uh, what you do is uh, this. So you turn the gas uh, until you hear something coming out of the Bunsen burner. So what I do is that while I'm turning the gas, I kind of have my head down listening for the gas to be coming out. And as soon as you hear just the slightest bit of gas coming out, that means that it's enough. Now you can take your striker and uh, spark it across the top, and uh, you should get a nice uh, flame. So um, here's what I'm uh, talking about here. So notice, right, notice again that you don't need the gas uh, valve on all the way in order to get a nice looking flame like that. Right? So by all the way, we mean all the way Perpend, uh, sorry, all the way parallel. And when it's all the way parallel, check out how big the gas is now. Right. So uh, again, you don't need it that big. You just need um, a moderate amount of gas. And again, you don't need it on all the way. Right. So a moderate amount of gas is what you want. Right. So then the proper way to turn on uh, the Bunsen burner without um, making a big, huge flame that might uh, end up burning you. 